going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. My name is Leo. This is my daughter, Madeline. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Hi. On today's episode, we're going to be updating you on what's going on with my 40-gallon fish tank uh, that I've been fishless water cycling for the last, I think, we're on through week three or week four. Um, I don't even remember. It's been so, so long. Um, but let me explain to you guys yeah. what happened on the first two yeah. weeks. Um, if you guys remember, I yeah. originally started it yeah. with the Tetra Safe Start Plus um, as the beneficial bacteria no. and also Maze. ammonia from Ace Hardware. Now, this process I knew was going to take a while. Um, and after two weeks, um, the ammonia did convert into nitrites. My ammonias went down to zero and my nitrites were really high. Um, and that's about it. That's all it did. Originally, what I had planned on doing was to order the Dr. Tim's uh, nitrifying bacteria online. But in my mind, I figured that there really wasn't too much of a difference from the Dr. Tim's to any other um, not, uh, bacteria that you find on the shelf. So I really didn't pay too much attention. But after two weeks, um, I started getting a little, a little discouraged because there wasn't really too much movement. And yes, it was only two weeks. Uh, but that's, you know, it's boring watching your fish tank with no fish and it's just there sitting and you can't do nothing about it. Um, I was working in Huntington Beach or Fountain Valley. I'm not sure what, what part of the, the country that is. Uh, I think it's Fountain Valley or Garden Grove. Okay. Um, but I walked into Tong's uh, fish store and lo and behold, they carry the Dr. Tim's one and only nitrifying bacteria. Now, like I told you guys, this is something I wanted to use from the beginning um, and I saw it on the shelf, so I was like, you know what, let's get it. I'm going to pick it up. Also, they also had their own um, ammonia that they, they carry, the Dr. Tim's ammonia. I know a lot of you guys might be scared of using the, the ammonia from Ace Hardware. Um, this, so they also sell their own ammonia. Now this is the same ammonia they use um, to feed their bacteria. So don't be scared to use this because that's the same thing that they use to, to grow their bacteria. So I, like I said, I picked it up, I brought it home. I picked it up, I brought it home and decided to do as much of the water change as possible. No, hold on, Mama. hold on. So the first day I did a 90% water change and then filled it back up. The second day I did about another 80% water change. And then I went ahead and added the Dr. Tim's nitrifying bacteria. Now there was two things that could have happened. Either I speed up the process by a week or two or I delay everything and I start all over again. So that was kind of my thing. Either, either this thing works. Um, and I, it speeds it up or it doesn't work and I just, you know, wasted two weeks. But lo and behold, after four days, um, my tank was completely cycled. Um, if you go on their website, on the Dr. Tim's um, website, they have a step-by-step, day-to-day on what, she, what you should be doing um, uh, when, when doing a fishless water cycle. So I did the step-by-step -step, and after four days, like I said, my tank was cycled 100%. Um, I waited a little bit longer just to make sure let the bacteria grow and establish. I think I waited all the way till day eight, and simply because I wanted to be, I wanted to transfer one of the fish into that tank when I was here, and I could be here all day and and kind of monitor the situation because it is a little bit stressful. You don't want your fish uh, to go through stress and and be freaking out. So I waited till the eighth day, even though I believe on the fourth day, my tank, my tank was fully cycled. Um, so I, I, I bought the gravy, man. This thing, this product was awesome. And on the eighth day, I transferred the white Oranda into the fish tank. Hey guys, one thing I forgot to mention is that my pH did skyrocket on that tank. Um, now, Dr. Tim's do warn you that your pH will lower or it could possibly lower, but I had the opposite effect. My, my skyrocketed up. 
Um, so the day before I transferred the Oranda, I checked the water and the pH was super, super high. So I did a 50% water change on that tank um, and it seemed to help, uh, but my pH was still a little bit higher. So I went ahead and added the API pH down. Um, if you guys can see, I only did about half a dose of what the normal recommended is. Um, I didn't want to add too much of this. I didn't want to lower the pH too dramatically. Uh, because I had already uh, changed the water. So I only did half a dose and that seemed to help. Uh, so just very, very important. If you guys are going to be doing this, make sure to monitor the pH. And I think we're on week, uh, she's on day five now that she's been into that tank. I just did a 50% water change. And let me show you guys what the parameters are. Hopefully you guys can see that. But for the ammonia, this is a zero. We're on, we're on zero ammonia and nitrites. We're also on zero. The nitrates are also not too bad. They are a little high, uh, but they're not too bad. And this is after five days of the Oranda being in the fish tank. So I cannot be any happier on the way this worked out. Also, since since I like the ammonia, I mean the product, the, the nitrifying bacteria, when I first transferred her into the tank, I added the Dr. Tim's First Defense, um, kind of a stress reliever, because I knew it was gonna be a little bit stressful moving her into the 40 gallon tank. So I added the Dr. Tim's um, First Defense. Now, on the negative, I don't, I mean, I can't say there's a negative, but um, I can't really, say that you're gonna have the same results because I had already started the process two weeks behind. So this could have just sped it up. Um, I won't know, I, I think I'm gonna test it um, when I get another fish tank and actually test it and see how fast um, this thing actually works. Because right now, like I said, I had already started two weeks and after four days of using this, it just it just changed everything. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I hope I wasn't talking too much, and I hope this bo this video wasn't too boring. But this video was not sponsored by Dr. Tim's. I paid this out of out of pocket. Um, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you guys have any questions on this. Please let me know. Go on their website. They have a step-by-step -step, um, um, process on how to do a fishless water cycle. That's kind of what I did. I went on their website and I used it and it works. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Please leave them in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Say bye. 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 bye.